Okay, so my name is Erica Trujillo Hernandez. I am the HR coordinator for Leal Vineyards as well through our whole hospitality portfolio. We actually have a total of six properties under our hospitality portfolio. So we have three in Hollister and we have three in Morgan Hill. So I'm gonna go ahead and just talk to you about all the fun, exciting positions that we do have available. And if anybody's interested in any of these positions or you're just wanna learn a little bit more, um, definitely feel free to reach out to me and we can sit down and kind of talk about every position. We can go from there and see what best fits you. Um, so starting off with Hollister, we do have Liel Vineyards. It is a gorgeous winery in um, Hollister. So at Liel Vineyards, we actually have a tasting room there as well. So you're able to do some tasting. Um, we're always hiring for a tasting room associates. For this position, you don't have to have any experience just as long as you have an amazing personality. Um, that is all we're looking for. And pretty much the tasting room associate will be greeting all the customers, you know, learning the knowledge of wine and how we make the wine, um, doing a lot of sales. So this position is part time. The winery is open seven days a week as well at um, on site. There's four areas at Leal Vineyards on the property where you're able to host a wedding or an event. And when we do host weddings or events at Leal Vineyards, we are always hiring for banquet servers. So pretty much a banquet server, what they do is you're helping out executing the event. So you it's like the day of the event, for example, if it's a wedding. You go ahead and you greet the guest, you let them know where to go for the ceremony, and then as well for the reception, um, work during the, you know, the cocktail hour, doing a lot of busing, interacting with a lot of the guests. It's a really fun position, especially if you've never worked before and this will be your first time working. I do suggest working as a banquet server. Um, it is a, it's very fast paced and um, it's fun. It is, it's um, on the weekends. So it's typically Friday, Saturdays, or Sunday. It's, it's all depending on when we host an event. Since wedding season is going to be ramping up as of this weekend, we are going to be hosting several events every single weekend. And as well as at Leal Vineyards, we do have a floral department on site. We're always constantly hiring for shop assistants. A shop assistant is someone that's going to be working really closely with the floral designer. You are going to pretty much um, help her, you know, with the arrangements, with the floral arrangements, um, doing a lot of like the packaging, grabbing the packages, all the flowers that are coming in, um, cutting the roses, you know, filling up the buckets full of water, just um, being like the right hand man um, or woman um, for the floral um, designer. And if this is something that you are very interested in, if you've always, you know, seen a gorgeous floral arrangement and you want to wonder, you know, you're wondering on how you can kind of like get in there, this is, would be a perfect opportunity. Um, and lastly, a facilities coordinator. A facilities coordinator is someone that's going to be working full time and helping executing the event from the beginning to the end. So meaning if um, you'll be helping out setting up the tables, the chairs, the linens, um, and then once the event is over, you're gonna be helping out um, putting all the stuff away as well. You don't have to have any experience for this position either, just as long as you're able to lift up to 40 pounds because some of the, the tables are a bit heavy. Um, these positions, like I was mentioning, they are the banquet server, the tasting room associate, and the shop assistant um, are all part-time. And the facilities coordinator position is full-time. Moving next to the restaurant. So we do have a restaurant in Hollister called The Grove. It is a gorgeous restaurant. I've, if you've never dined there before, I highly recommend you go. The atmosphere is amazing. Um, we do have plenty of olive trees with all these beautiful lights. For these, um, for these positions that I'm going to talk about right now, the same thing. You really don't have to have any experience. The only thing that we are looking for in a candidate is just someone that's going to have a very fun, outgoing, bubbly personality. Um, 
we're constantly hiring for hosts, for bartenders, for servers, for sous chefs, cooks, pizza cooks, um, assistant restaurant managers and dishwashers and facilities coordinators. Um, for the assistant restaurant manager and for the sous chef, you do have to have at least five years experience, but all the other positions you don't, um, they can be entry level positions. And um, for the dishwasher position as well, you don't have to have any, any experience whatsoever. These positions can be part-time to full-time job. So for the hosts, the bartenders and the servers, these positions are only part-time, but all the other positions could be up to being a full-time position. The restaurant, The Grove, is open Thursday through Sunday, and we are looking for somebody that has an open availability, especially that's able to work on the weekends, because that's when we get really busy. Um, if you're in the area and you're interested, you're more than welcome to stop by at the restaurant and ask for an application and fill it out and just drop it off right there. Um, we're constantly hiring for these positions. The only requirement um, for the restaurants is you do have to have a food handler certificate and a beverage certificate. So once you are interviewed and we give you the position, we do give you about a week deadline to get the certificates because you will be needing it for working um, at the restaurant. Moving on to San Juan Bautista, we do have a rest, um, excuse me, we do have a hotel called Hacienda de Leo. We are hiring for a front desk attendant and a night audit. The front desk attendant is someone that's going to be greeting all the, the guests, greeting them, checking them in, working on the reservations, um, as well as helping out doing housekeeping in case we aren't short staffed. Uh, the front desk position is a part-time position. It's either a morning or an afternoon shift. You have to be able to work the seven days um, a week and you'll be scheduled to work about three to four days out of that week, especially weekends. The night audit position is exactly the same as a front desk attendant, but it's just an overnight shift. And that position, um, while being a front desk, you're also gonna be doing some auditing with any of the records or any of the reservations. But the start time for this one is 10 o'clock at night until around 7, 7.30 in the morning. So you have to be able to work overnight on this one. Um, at the moment, we don't have any full-time positions for Hacienda de Leal. All these positions are um, part-time only. But um, in the future, we will be getting more positions. Um, once we start ramping up and getting really busy with the hotel, we are going to be transitioning the part-time into being full-time in case anybody's interested. Moving to Morgan Hill locations. Um, we do have a winery in Morgan Hill as well called Mohai Wines by Sycamore Creek Vineyard. For Mohai, we are constantly hiring for a tasting room associate facilities coordinator. And I just got um, a an order today that we are going to be hiring for banquet servers for Mohai as well. Um, at Mohai, it's a tasting room as well, but we are able to host weddings and events there. Um, the tasting room for Mohai right now, they're only open Thursday through Sunday. Um, but eventually we're going to be moving and we're going to be opening seven days a week. The facilities coordinator is exactly the same position as Liel Vineyards, just somebody that's going to be able to work full time, helping setting up the day of the events, you know, putting everything away after the event is over and then banquet serving as well. Um, just being able to assist the day of the event um, on executing the event. In Morgan Hill as well, we have a restaurant called Mohai Social at Granada Theater. So back in the day, Granada Theater was actually pre-COVID. We used to just host all the weddings um, at the Granada Theater, um, but we actually turned it into a restaurant and we are constantly hiring from front of the house and back of the house position. So we're always hiring for cooks, host, servers, bartenders, sous chef, assistant restaurant managers, 
dishwashers and custodial. Um, these positions are part time for the front of the house position. So for the host, the bartenders and um, for all the other positions for like the cooks, the sous chef, the dishwashers, those are full time positions. The restaurant is open Wednesday through Sunday, but we are going to move, be moving to um, seven days a week within the next two weeks. So we are looking for the same thing. We're looking for somebody that has a very fun, outgoing personality, just wants to work, um, especially someone that really, if you really enjoy in interacting with customers and you're perfectly okay with that, you know, being a host or being a server would be a great position for you. But if you're more of like, you know, I just want to work alone, it's fine. You know, you're more than welcome. You know, we can, you know, put you as being a cook if you're interested in being a cook or even a food runner or a busser. Um, and like I was mentioning, fun, outgoing personality. Like that is our number one thing that we are looking for for Every position that we do hire here at Liel Vineyards um, Properties, just fun, outgoing personality. Um, for this position as well, it's like I was mentioning just exactly for the Grove, um, you do have to have your food handler card and your alcohol certificates. Um, the only reason why I'm saying alcohol certificates is because if you are a host or if any position in the front of the house, we do, you will be around um, alcohol. So we do ask that you have that certificate to work um, for Mohai Social. And lastly, we do have Willow Heights Mansion. So it's a mansion in Morgan Hill where we're able to host weddings and events there. We also have our own floral shop there as well. So this floral shop in um, Morgan Hill, we are looking for floral designers. We're looking for shop assistants. Um, floral designers is a full-time position. The shop assistant and Morgan Hill is actually a full-time position as well. Um, this position is Tuesdays through Saturdays, on occasionally some Sundays, depending if we do have events. For the shop assistant, you don't have to have any experience whatsoever. For the floral designer, you have to have at least two years of experience. And we're also hiring for a uh, bakery assistant. So the bakery assistant will be based out of Morgan Hill and you'll be helping the bakery chef um, baking all these beautiful um, cakes and desserts. And you don't have to have any experience for this position as well. Just somebody that's interested and wants to learn or that just has a background in culinary, um, this would be definitely a great fit for that person. Our requirements for these positions is we do ask that you're at least 18 years and over to work at um, all the properties that we do have. We do ask um, if you are working in the restaurant, you do have to have a food handler card and the alcohol certificate. If um, the good thing about this, about working at any of our sites is that, say for example, if you are interested in both in, in two locations. So let's say you're interested in being a banquet server at um, Mohai Wines and you wanna be you know, a host at uh, Mohai Social, you can actually do that as well. So that's the good thing about working for us. So if you don't have, if you're not getting enough hours for, for the, at the restaurant and you want to pick up more shifts and you live in the area or you're willing to commute to Hollister, you can definitely do that as well. Um, so it's, it's a really good thing about working for us. Um, if anybody is interested, if you're interested in the Morgan Hill location, you know, feel free to go to Mohai Social at the restaurant and just go in there, pick up an application, even if it's for the other two locations in Morgan Hill, like Mohai Wines or um, the mansion, you can just pick up an application there, fill it out, and then I will be contacting you and you know, I would do the pre-screen and see um, what position you're interested, what location, if you're interested in the Hollister location, then you would be, um, you're more than welcome to go to the winery, pick up an application or go to the restaurant. You can just go to any of our six, six locations and just pick up an application. Um, and what they'll do is they'll provide you the application, you'll drop it off there and then they'll scan it over to me. Or you can go onto our website, www.liveloveliao.com forward slash careers. And we have all the openings there. We have several vacancies um, and 
if you are interested in start ASAP, that would be great. Um, because we are constantly, like I was mentioning, we are constantly hiring for all these positions. Thank you so much, Erica. And we have a few questions for you. Okay. Robert asks a clarifying question. You touched on this, but do you have to be 21 to work in the restaurants and at the winery since you're handling wine? Actually, I do apologize. I didn't mention that. Yes. So if you are working in the tasting room or you're a bartender, you do have to be 21 since you'll be pouring alcohol. But for any other positions, you don't. You have to be at least 18 years or over. Very good. Thank you. Ramona says, your job openings really do sound fun. You probably have a lot of applications and resumes coming in. How quickly might someone hope to get an interview with you? Actually, when we get an application, I look at the portal every morning. I give you a call right away, and I'll try to see if you can meet with me that, that same day. Um, if you can't, that's perfectly okay. We can also do a pre-screened. And turnaround time, I'm going to say about a day to two days because we are in need of a lot of people. So if anybody would to be, you know, go online today and register, I would be giving you a call by the end of the day, try to schedule an, an either an in-person interview if you're available, or we can always do an over the phone interview. That's exciting, thank you. Let's see, Jordan asks, what are some of the common challenges that your employees might expect to face? I think the common challenges is there's a lot of, um, you have to be able to learn how to adapt into new changes. Um, everything changes drastically, especially in hospitality. Um, so for example, um, we used to have, the, re the restaurant was open um, only like, it was open seven days a week. So then we moved from seven days a week to only three days a week and then four days a week. So there was a lot of changes going on with the restaurant trying to improve. Um, but the thing is, all the employees that we have had actually have been very good at adapting with all the changes. Um, having came across any employees who've had any difficulties with any of the changes that might happen or anything changing on the menus. Um, I know in the beginning we had like, for example, a, a, a set menu, and then we went ahead and we changed it or we added more stuff. Um, and you were just learning, you know, the whole entire menu, memorizing the menu. Um, but then you're like, the next day you go into your shift, you're like, wait, we don't have this anymore. Like what's going on? I'm like, oh, nope, you know, we're switching everything over and we're going back to square one. So um, it's, the good thing is that we've had a lot of good employees, a, a lot of our good employees have definitely um, adapted to all the different changes that we've had in hospitality. And then one more question from Jason. What types of support and training do you offer to new employees? That's great that lots of positions don't require previous experience. We actually have on the on the job training for all these positions, um, especially typically when we hire somebody, um, we try to give you at least two days, two full shifts of training. And it's really good because you're actually able to shadow someone. And um, the good thing about this is I've actually came across a lot of employees who, for example, were servers and they wanted just to move up, you know, or move back being just a host. But then we, we still train you, although you have the experience, um, because every restaurant is different. And then from being trained for the, say, for example, for the host position, um, you know, you're interested in possibly moving up and you're like, hey, I want to try doing bartending. So it's a cool, it's really nice working for us because you do get on the job training and we're actually able to switch you to different positions. So if you end up getting hired as a host and within those two days, you actually like did really, really well. And we might offer you like, hey, are you possibly interested in a server position instead? Then we go ahead and we move you. Um, so it's really nice to know that we all work very close together and there's always training for every position that we do have. We don't just have you work without being trained. 
And I'm sorry, one more question came in from Gabriel. He was very interested in the positions you posted and asked for your contact information. So we'll be sure to pass that on. Yes, definitely. And Gabriel says, what is it like to work there? What is the, the work culture like? You mentioned it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else to share? Uh, we honestly, it's a big family here. Um, we all get along. It's everybody has an amazing personality. Everybody's excited to go to work. Um, I just love seeing the energy from each location that I go when I visit. Um, it's, it's all happiness. Um, and that is what I love. That's what I, what I love doing. Um, just going into work and working with everybody who's really happy to be there. And yes, it might be busy, but they still have a smile on their face. So it's, it's really amazing working here. Thank you so much, Erica. Any more questions, Amelia? How are you doing? That was all of the questions. Thank you so much. Great, Great job. Thing. Yeah, well, thank you. Any answer period. <laughs> yeah, and, and and for like I was mentioning, if anybody is interested, just um, show you know Jacqueline. They'll they'll go ahead and send you know my information to you guys, and I will definitely reach out to you as soon as possible. Um, because I'm, we're very eager um, to like meet new people and just, you know, hopefully you guys get to join our amazing team. Wonderful. And Erica, you're welcome yes. to put your contact number in the chat box. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Contact and your email and how they can apply. Perfect. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Perfect. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.